welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one is all about simplifying fractions it says in the pyramid the two numbers below add to make the number above complete the number pyramid and we've got to try and write all of our answers in their simplest form well we'll come to that later if we can just get an answer in each box that would be a start now what might be easiest to do here is make all of our answers into hundredths because we've got 38 hundredths here and we've got 0 0.25 which would be 25 one hundredths here and obviously a whole one right at the top would be 100 hundredths so if we keep it out of 100 we should be making it reasonably simple so here we go let's start in the bottom corner one tenth is an equivalent fraction if you times both of those numbers by 10 you get 1 times 10 is 10 and 10 times 10 is 100 so that's 10 hundredths well we're told that these two together along the bottom would add to make the one above it so 25 hundredths and 10 hundredths would be 35 one hundredths to get this one here 38 one hundredths up to a whole one which is a hundred hundredths would be 62 one hundredths we'll worry about simplifying these later once we've got an answer in every box now we're trying to make 62 one hundredths and we've already got 35 well if you take 35 off 62 you're left with 27 so this one would be 27 one hundredths. Now we know that this 0 0.25 is 25 one hundredths. We're trying to make 27 one hundredths. So we would need an extra 2 one hundredths. Because 2 one hundredths and 25 one hundredths makes 27 one hundredths. To get from 27 one hundredths to 38 one hundredths, we need an extra 11. Because 11 plus 27 is 38 so that box is 11 one hundredths and the final one in the bottom corner we're trying to make 11 one hundredths and we've already got two one hundredths so this missing box needs to be nine one hundredths because nine one hundredths plus two one hundredths gives us our 11 one hundredths now we've got an answer in every box we could do with seeing which ones can be simplified well starting with this 62 one hundredths you can half both of those because they're both even. So that would become 31 fiftieths. And 31 is a prime number, which means you can't simplify it any further. 35 one hundredths, both of those numbers would divide by 5. 5 into 35 goes 7 times, and 5 into 100 goes 20 times. So the final answer for that one will be 7 twentieths. 27 will only divide by 3, 9, 1 and 27, none of which will divide into 100. Therefore, 27 one hundredths cannot be simplified. That's the final answer. 11 one hundredths can't simplify because 11 is a prime number. 9 will only divide by 3, 9 and 1. And none of those will divide by 100 except for 1. But there's no point in dividing by 1 because you'd still be left with 100. So 9 one hundredths can't be simplified. 2 one hundredths, both numbers can be divided by 2, which would give you 1 50th. 25 one hundredths, well, 25 and 100 both divide by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. And 100 divided by 5 is 20. And 5 twentieths actually can simplify even further to become 1 quarter. And obviously the last one, 10 one hundredths, we'd already got a simplified version and that was 1 tenth. So there's your final answer. So on the second row we've got 31 fiftieths. On the third row we've got 7 twentieths. And on the bottom row we've got 1 fiftieth, 1 quarter and 1 tenth.